Today I thought I'd do a little bit of a different video, but this year has been a great reading year for me because I had actually quite a lot of time to read what I wanted to read. So today I thought I'd show you all the books that I've read this year um, and I'm going to um, present them in the order how I like them. So I'm going to start with the least favorite and then we will go up to my favorite books of 2015. Sorry. <laughs> Not 16. Um, yeah, so if that is something you're interested in, then I hope you enjoy this and keep on watching. So the first category would be one and a half star. I didn't read anything that was worse and that was the last Twilight book. Um, this is Breaking Dawn, I think. In the category with two stars, we have Meine 30 Lippenstifte und ich by Sibylle Weichenberg, which is a German book I did not like. And The Pilot by James F. Cooper, which is a childhood book that still disappointed me. In the category with 2.5 stars, I have Artemis Fowl, book 1, 3 and 6. I listened to those on audiobook. Also, um, All Men of Genius by Lev something Rosen, I don't even remember. And then um, the Twilight books number two and three, so Eclipse and New Moon. In the category with three stars, I have the second Artemis Fowl book, again on audiobook, and then the fourth Artemis Fowl book. A book that I've already sold was Herzfrost, which is also a book that has only been published in German. Then we have with this book, which was something like The Silent Woman or something like that by A.S.A. Harrison. Juliet by Marquis de Sade, Critics of the Ages by Joanne K. Rowling, Die Zwerge, which means The Dwarfs by Markus Heitz, I don't think this has been translated, but I don't know, The Dump House by John Burnside, Murder at Monticello by Rita Mae Brown, this is the third book in the Miss Murphy series, Unholy by Neil Schusterman, which is the second book in the Unwind series. Um, a book called Peterson's Mondfahrt. Um, this is a story about Peter who goes to the moon. I don't know whether that's, this has been translated, but it's by Gerd von Basowitz and it was written in the early 20th century. And Bright Young Sings by Anna Gottbergsen. This is the first book in a series, a trilogy, and I'm not sure whether I will continue this next year. In the category with 3.5 stars, we've got Der gestohlene Abend from Wolfram Fleischauer, again only published in German, Twilight by Stephanie Meyer, The Island of Dr. Moreau by H.G. Wells, Siege and Storm and Ruin and Reisen by Leroy Dugo. This is the second and the third book in the um, Shadow and Bone or Crochet trilogy. Unsold and Undivided by Neil Schusterman. This is the third and fourth book in the Unwind series. Sun, which is um, the last book in the Giver Quartet by Lois Lowry. And Hollow City, which is the second book in the Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children trilogy. So next, these are all the books I would really recommend you go and read. So we're starting with the four star books. And the first one is The King in Yellow by Robert W. Chambers, which is a short story collection. Frankenstein by Mary Shelley. Boy 7 by Miriam Maus or Moose or I don't know. Um, I don't know whether this has been translated into English, but if so, you should really read this. Shadow and Bone by Libor Dugo, which is the first book in the Christian trilogy. The Violina des Teufels, or The Violin of the Devil, something like that, um, by Joseph Gellinek, which is a Spanish author. I think this one has not been translated. It's called Sirenenlied, and it's by Tanja Heitmann, so it's a German book. The Steppenwolf by um, Hermann Hesse, which is also a German author, and it's a classic you should definitely read. This is a Hungarian author, um, Sandor Marai. The book is called Die Klut. I don't know whether this has been translated into English, but I think so. Before I Go to Sleep by S.J. Watson. Didn't like the movie of that. And Grank by Alan Hopkins. All the other books I don't own right now. So that would be the fourth German book of Game of Thrones, or that would be the second English book. 
kind of thoughts than, than a German book called Herr Lehmann, which is really interesting and I was um, surprised how much I liked it. Also for your stories is the book called We Should Hang Out Sometime. It was written by a YouTuber, I forgot the name, but that one was very funny. Artemis Fowl, the fifth book. I really enjoyed that one, also an audiobook. Now we're up to 4.5 stars. So I'm going to start off with a childhood classic. This is one of the Goosebumps books, Let's Get Invisible. This is a German bind-up of short stories called Horror Stories of the 20th Century. Catching Fire and Mocking Jay. This is book two and three of the Hunger Games books. Dracula by Bram Stoker. Horns by Joe Hill. I'm sorry, it's reflecting. This is a French novel by Anne de la Flotte and it's called Mathilde und der Duft der Bücher. I don't know whether this has been translated into English, I couldn't find it. Next is Gathering Blue, which is book two in the Giver Quartet by Lois Lowry. Rest in Pieces and Wish You Were Here, which is book one and two in the Miss Murphy series by Rita Mae Brown. And Unwind by Neil Tristerman, which is the first book in the Unwind series, but you could read it as a standalone. Then also book number five in the German Game of Thrones series, so that would be book number three in the English version. And yeah, really enjoyed that one. And then also Carry On by Rainbow Rowell. I'm not quite sure whether it's a 4.5 or a 5 star book, but I feel more like 4.5. So now on to the most exciting category, which would be five star books, and that would be Hunger Games, um, obviously the first book in the trilogy, which I have reread for the third time now. The Giver and Messenger, which is book one and three in The Giver Quartet by Lois Lowry. The Tales of Beetle the Bard by Joanne K. Rowling. Persuasion by Jane Austen. We Were Liars by E. Lockhart. A German book called Pünktchen und Anton by Erich Kästner. I don't know whether this has been translated, but if it has, and I'm pretty sure it has been, um, then you should definitely check it out because it's amazing. I love these. And then finally, All the Truth That's In Me by Julie Berry, which was probably the biggest surprise I had this year. So I feel like I've missed books, but that's all that I have right now. And yeah, it's been a... Um, crazy year and also an amazing reading year and I hope you had a great reading year as well. Let me know what you've read, maybe your biggest surprise or maybe even your biggest disappointment. I would love to hear about that. I hope you enjoyed this and have a lovely day. Bye! Quidditch Through the Ages by Joe... <laughs>